Um, you know, first of all, like I always will, uh, come in here and, you know, congratulations to San Jose State. Um, you know, you got to give your opponent credit. You know, every time you play against other people who prepare and practice the same way you do. Um, you know, having said that, um, you know, disappointed and, and, you know, I just thought our, our execution and particularly on the defensive end with some, some things, you know, really came back to haunt us. And um, those are things that, you know, we've got we've to get corrected. Um, the other thing for me, um, I don't know why, but probably the biggest disappointment was just our spirit at times. And I thought, you know, they made a run at the end of the first half. Um, and for whatever reason, we came out in the second half, and I just thought we didn't have a lot of juice. And I don't know why. I mean, I you know, we tried to pump them up at halftime, and, um, but I didn't think we did. And finally, we kind of got out of it a little bit, but we just needed to play with a lot more spirit and a lot more focus. And, um, boy, once Amari Moore got going, he becomes really, really difficult to stop. And, um, you know, disappointing would be kind of the kindest thing uh, that I would say publicly uh, about us here today. We were going to ask the players, but what was the, there's a couple of things obviously going on. The three pointers that the opponents are hitting, things like right now, their shooting percentage. But Isaiah went back to it was just consistency. Is that what you go to as a coach? You're not doing anything consistently enough? I mean, that's a big part of it, I think, consistency. But it's not just consistent. There's consistency in execution, but where does that come from? That comes from, obviously, it comes from focus. It comes from being able to emotionally sometimes get over things that don't go your way, whether it's as an individual or as a team, and be ready to make the next best play uh, uh, no matter what. And sometimes I think we're struggling with that right now. As a coach, do we need to put them in some better situations or different situations in practice um, to be able to do that? Um, but I think that's, I mean, he's right when he says consistency, but there's a lot of things that go into that. And, boy, better start with your consistency and your spirit, you know. And, and this league is tough. It's balanced. You know, we knew today was going to be a really tough game. Uh, um, but I don't think emotionally we handled it very well. Is there any one aspect of the way this conference season started that's most concerning to you in terms of, I mean, like you've given up 28 three-pointers? Yeah, game? I mean, I, well, that's very concerning. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, I'll, I'm not wash it away. I mean, the, the New Mexico game was a lot different that, that some nights nights like that happen so we can't you know tonight I thought early on we came out really well and what's changed for them I thought was when Moore hit a couple behind the ball screen now credit him when he's doing that do you know what I mean and he's making it behind the ball screen or unders he's a difficult cover he's long he can get the shot off it's hard to get to but I thought it started with us you know we were kind of lazy I thought um, towards the end of the first half and kind of maybe took the easy way out and he makes us pay next thing you know you know we got a problem on our hands and Obviously, some of our ball screen coverages were not what they needed to be. And then what happens is, right, you get in a bad rotation. And, and then some of them, to be honest, I just felt like we fell asleep. I just thought we fell asleep on some things that should be easily executable, not under, you know, personnel on a closeout, overhelping on somebody that you know you're not supposed to. And sometimes, you know, miss shots and it works out for you. And right now, and maybe it's good for us, teams are making us pay. So we're either going to change or they're going to keep making us pay. Is this, uh, I guess, in some ways, a lesson for this team of the Mount West? And you're up 14, I think it was, in the first half, kind of feeling good. Uh, if you do kind of put off the gas a little bit, teams are going to be. I think, I think you know what? I think there's maybe part of that. That's part of it, and there's some truth to that. I think the other truth is you got to understand that basketball can be is a game of runs, too. Do you know what I mean? And then, so I agree with you, take your foot off the gas, but then also, when a team does make a run, I mean, you can go on a you know seven zero run like that, a stop, a couple of scores. How do you emotionally handle that? Are you able to get ready and focus on the next play and dig in and make a run right back? You know, and I just think that's not where we're at, and and uh, you got to learn that. And I don't know, you know, I, I'll say this, and we're a little disjointed right now, I think, and. You know, it was great to get Tavy back today. He hasn't really practiced, you know what I mean? Uh, it's going to take him some time, I think, to, to, to get back. And, you know, we've got to figure it out. But this is the team that also won at St. Mary's two weeks ago. And when I say all this, 
you know, I believe in this group. I think we can be good. I do. I think we can be good, and I think we can compete with anyone in our league. But thinking it, you got to be able to do it. And, you know, we're 0-2 right now, and we got to get up off the mat and find a way to play better next week. Obviously, most of this roster – really has only known success. Um, I guess, is this a, a new challenge in a lot of ways to find a way to you know, snap up? Not that it's a long fun, but a little fun. Yeah. I think so. It's a challenge. Every season has adversity. We've had a lot of it. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot. Some of it, a good portion of it was not self-inflicted. Some of it self-inflicted. What we got to worry about is the stuff that's self-inflicted, right? The things that we can control and we can get better at. And that's where we're at. And I think we will. And you're right. Last year's last year. The year before is the year before. We are where we are. But I'll still say this. It's 2022's over. 2023 is a new year, all right? The new year is flipping tomorrow, and there's an opportunity for this group to learn from it and to grow. But we can talk about it. we got to be about it. Obviously, you built with Tim before, and now he's building again. What is it about this team that has made them so much more challenging? Than well, they're playing with confidence. I mean, number one, they've obviously got an all-league player. You know, Mari Moore is a terrific player. He's playing at a high level, and as he's gotten older and older, you can see his growth. And it all starts with with that. He's got the group of guys, you know, now that are bought into what they want to do. They understand their role. They start winning some games early. What does that do? It breeds some confidence. They find a way to, you know, win at Santa Clara. They find a way to win that game against UNLV in overtime. What does that do for their confidence, you know? Again, I thought the end of the first half was crucial to us tonight. You know what I mean? We had, and what does that do to that team when they go in the locker room? They just keep believing, and that's what he's got going, and um, they're doing a great job that way, and they're going to be good the rest of the year. In response to some of the injuries, you've been starting Patrick alongside, alongside James at the four position. Is that something you'd like, or does the depth kind of limit you? I mean, I, you know, we initially did it. There's things I like about leadership because we that was you know we didn't have options with guys being out. There's a lot of things I like about it, but I think to be brutally honest, I mean I think we just need to keep evaluating everything. Do you know what I mean? Is that the right thing for us moving forward? Um, I love Patrick. I love Patrick as a player. I love all our guys. Do you know what I mean? And and uh, um, you know. Again, you got to make sure you don't get too emotional enough to the game, but you got to call it what it is. But yes, we've been starting that lineup. We started it at St. Mary's, you know, with some of the injuries, and we've been st sticking with it. Do we continue to stick with it? I don't. I don't know. I think we have to have all options on the table at this point. Just curious, uh, what happened with Joe starting and Rip? Um, man, one of those nights, I don't know if a clerical error is the right way to say it, but uh, somebody put the wrong name in the book um, and didn't realize it before tip, um, and that's what happened. So in a year of firsts or seasons of firsts, that's another one.